Hey guys, this is Fred Bowler and welcome to my channel, The Wildlife Ambassador. And today's episode is going to be about how to tell the difference between male and female spiders. And can spiders breed with other types of spiders? Okay, how to determine a male spider from a female spider. The only way to really do this is when they are mature. Um, actually, when the male is mature. There are some exceptions to this. We'll get to that later. As you can see in the photo, these two little round things on the end of his pedipalps, so those are those two little teeny front leg, leg-like appendages. Those are called emboles, and those are actually his breeding organs. So I'll hold sperm in those and then insert those into the female for breeding. And in the, also in the picture, you can see the big one is the female, the small one is the male. And that's true pretty much with all species of spiders. And here are the physical characteristics between the male and the female. This is a wolf spider. The one on the left is the female. The one on the right is the male. And with wolf spiders, the leg span of male and female might be the same. But you can definitely notice that the abdomens, the rear part, is a lot thinner in males than it is in females. Also, after reaching maturity, which is when he gets his emboli for breeding, male spiders only have a very short time to live after they mature. Uh, females will live well, well past maturity, but males are pretty much only for breeding. They don't eat much, um, and they're desperately seeking Susan, so to speak, to get, uh, to get dates, and then they will die where the female will continue, maybe even to have a couple clutches of eggs um, or babies. But with some types of spiders, it's easy to tell the difference between the male and the female by what's called sexual dimorphism. And that is, they look totally different from each other. The black one with the green mouth parts is the male regal jumping spider, and the orange and gray one is the female jumping spider. They can pretty much be the same size, but then you have the color to distinguish the two from each other. And then we have the crevice spider. The female's the heavy body dark one, and the male is the skinny yellow one. And I point, I have that little red arrow pointing to the male's um, pedipalps because the male crevice spider is often mistaken for the brown recluse but it's much longer legged than the brown recluse and the pedipalps are much longer. Can spiders breed with other types of spiders or other species of spiders? So we're gonna give that one a generally, they cannot. Um, there are some very few rare exceptions. I'll talk about those, but the main reason is, you remember when we talked about the embolus? Well, the Embolus of male spiders actually fits the uterus or epigynum of the female of the same species. It is shaped different per species. Embolus can be corkscrewed, they can be hooked, um, recurved, procurved, depending on the species. And spider species can actually be keyed out to what species they are just using the emboli of the male uh, if they find um, just the, just the uh, pedipalp or emboli, embolus on the end of that pedipalp. They can tell what species that belong to. There's actually keys or charts um, with diagrams for that. Now the exception, the rare exception to species not being able to uh, interbreed the jumping spiders now, they have to be of the same genus. It could be different species, like the magnolia jumper, or I should say the, the canopy jumping spider with the regal jumping spider. They're relatively the same size, but they cannot breed with another genus of jumping spider. And spiders can't breed with other families of spiders, like wolf spiders. Wolf spiders cannot breed with jumping spiders. Jumping spiders cannot breed with black widows. Black widows cannot breed with orb weavers and the like. 
and that's how that goes. And and that type of uh, interaction between uh, species of the same genus is, is really, really rare. Okay, there's a whole lot more to the subject, but that's just it, basically in a nutshell, on identifying male from female, and can spiders breed with different species of spiders. Thanks, guys.